quite an assortment. And these came from my closet. Uh, biking shoes, hiking shoes, running shoes, shoes for kicking around the yard, water shoes, casual shoes, dress shoes. And, and I'm not a shoe guy. I mean, I don't accessorize. I never remember a time when I made it my goal in life to become a shoe collector. But here I am, and here they are. Things just seem to accumulate. You know, it might interest you to know that the first generation of Jesus followers wrestled with challenges similar to ours. In our study together, we're gonna to travel back in each session to the world of the Bible. We're gonna explore places like Ephesus, Laodicea, and Corinth. And we're gonna learn something. We're gonna learn that their challenges were very similar to ours when it came to living the contented, satisfied life. There, there's something about wealth that can train the heart to go, it's all about me, it really is. We need so badly to be reminded that affluence is not always a friend to faith. Contentment is a satisfied heart. The voice of contentment says, I'm okay with it, and I'm okay without it. Uh, my book, Satisfied, and the small group study will unpack issues like contentment, generosity, and uh, dealing with our wealth. I invite you to join in the journey of the satisfied life.